Although violent and unpredictable, stellar flares emitted by a planet's host star do not necessarily prevent life from forming, according to a new Northwestern University study. Emitted by stars, stellar flares are sudden flashes of magnetic imagery. On Earth, the sun's flares sometimes damage satellites and disrupt radio communications. Elsewhere in the universe, robust stellar flares also have the ability to deplete and destroy atmospheric gases, such as ozone. Without the ozone, harmful levels of ultraviolet, UV, radiation can penetrate a planet's atmosphere, thereby diminishing its chances of harboring surface life. By combining 3D atmospheric chemistry and climate modeling with observed flare data from distant stars, a Northwestern-led team discovered that stellar flares could play an important role in the long-term evolution of a planet's atmosphere and habitability. We compared the atmospheric chemistry of planets experiencing frequent flares with planets experiencing no flares. The long-term atmospheric chemistry is very different, said Northwestern's Howard Chen, the study's first author. It is a joint effort among researchers at Northwestern, University of Colorado at Boulder, University of Chicago, Massachusetts Institute of Technology and NASA Nexus for Exoplanet System Science, NEXSS. Horton is an assistant professor of Earth and Planetary Sciences in Northwestern's Weinberg College of Arts and Sciences. Chen is a Ph.D. candidate in Horton's Climate Change Research Group and a NASA Future Investigator. Importance of flares All stars, including our very own sun, flare, or randomly release stored energy. Fortunately for Earthlings, the sun's flares typically have a minimal impact. Earth also has a strong magnetic field, which deflects the sun's damaging winds. Unfortunately, most potentially habitable exoplanets aren't as lucky. For planets to potentially harbor life, they must be close enough to a star that their water won't freeze, but not so close that water vaporizes. On the flip side, M and K dwarf stars are thought to have more frequent flaring activity than our sun, and their tidally locked planets are unlikely to have magnetic fields helping deflect their flares, however, occur on an hour's or day's long timescales. Although these brief timescales can be difficult to simulate, incorporating the effects of flares is important to forming a more complete picture of exoplanet atmospheres. Please support my channel to grow by pressing subscribe button and the bell icon. We will notify you technological news. Thank you.